thanks for joining us here for Wake Up Charlotte to go. I'm Ben Thompson and I'm Ruby Durham. Let's send it over to Mr. Larry Sprinkle for a check of the forecast. We do have an advisory in effect uh, this afternoon. High fire danger, red flag warning in effect for the entire area from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Very dry winds gusting well over 30 miles per hour. So avoid any outdoor fires could cause some major problems and then uh, tonight through tomorrow morning, we have a winter weather advisory. That's a freeze warning in effect for areas all the way up Interstate 77 to Statesville, up to Lincolnton, over to Shelby, Boone, Blowing Rock, Morganton, Lenora, that entire area. Locally, it's going to be a breezy day today. Winds getting up to the mid 30s right in the middle of the afternoon. Something to think about, but it will be a sunshine filled day today. 9 a.m. 61 degrees by 1 o'clock. We're in the upper 60s. We stay in the upper 60s for high temperatures today. A couple spots may make it into the low 70s. So there you go. The warmer weather east and southeast of here. Mid 40s in the mountains, about 59 at Hickory, 71 at Rock Hill in South Carolina. For the area today, here's the way it looks tonight. We're dropping about 26 at Boone about 35 degrees in the Charlotte area. So we'll see the potential for some frosty conditions with that freeze warning in effect tonight. Check out the seven day forecast. Tomorrow's high 62 rain on Saturday. Sunday is looking good and next week mid to upper 70s Monday and Tuesday. And that is your first one forecast. Larry, thank you. Former officer Derek Chauvin is now a convicted murderer. A jury finding him guilty of all three charges in the death of George Floyd. That includes charges of both murder and manslaughter. He now faces up to 40 years in prison. I'm Chris Pallone, Minneapolis. It has been a peaceful night here in the Twin Cities, and of course now it is quiet outside the Hennepin County Courthouse, a far different scene than several hours ago when hundreds of people turned out outside the courthouse when they knew there was going to be a verdict read just because they wanted to be a part of it. They wanted to react and experience those emotions. This morning, Derek Chauvin is in jail awaiting sentencing. That will take place in about two months. He could face upwards of 40 years in prison. And we are tracking a lot of reaction to that verdict this morning from our local lawmakers talking about the impact this is having. We are going to start with a statement from Governor Roy Cooper. He says that Floyd's death should not have happened and that there's much work to do. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott also weighing in, releasing a lengthy statement online saying that the justice system did its work and he doesn't want a few bad police apples to define all officers. Mayor Vi Lyles also sharing her thoughts this morning, saying she hopes the verdict brings comfort to members of the family and hopes everyone respects the results and starts working toward change. She did add that this case was one instance where she couldn't separate her own feelings from being mayor. I was thinking all the while that justice needed to be served, but at the same time, I was thinking, how do I work to make sure that the chief and the department are having the resources that are necessary to make sure that people had the right to protest if they choose to do so, and to make sure that our city was safe. And lastly, Charlotte Representative Alma Adams saying that justice was served and it's a big step forward for millions of Americans struggling to breathe. We will continue to track the very latest from our local leaders here in the Queen City. Ben. Rachel, thanks. Time now to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. Of course, that's the big story of the morning. Uh, Chauvin's sentencing will be in eight weeks and he faces up to 40 years in prison, but there is a good chance his legal team will be getting right back to work this morning. Legal experts say the defense will undoubtedly appeal Chauvin's guilty verdict. Let's connect the dots. Chauvin's team will bring up a couple of things, mainly the public nature of the trial. The defense has taken issue with statements from Congresswoman Maxine Waters. This weekend, she called on protesters to stay on the streets and get more confrontational. Chauvin's defense team could make the argument that put undue pressure or influence on the jury. It also is likely the defense will bring up the deadly police shooting of Dante Wright. The judge declined to sequester the jurors. Legal experts also say the defense could argue the jury knew too much before the trial. The city of Minneapolis and the Floyd family agreed on a $27 million settlement just weeks before the trial started. But most legal experts say they don't expect the verdict to be overturned. And that is Connecting the Dots. 
Turning to more top stories of the morning, protests erupt in Columbus, Ohio, after police shot and killed a 16-year-old girl. Her family says the teenager called the police for help because girls were fighting outside her house. Last night at a press conference, police showed body camera footage. This is the video leading up to that shooting. Police say the girl attempted to stab two people with a knife. Protesters say police should have done more to de-escalate the situation. As of right now, no charges have been filed. Mecklenburg County leaders working to make sure young people are getting their vaccine. Health Director Gibby Harris says the county is in talks with local bars to offer vaccine clinics there. She says it's all about making it as easy as possible for folks to get their shot. Today, Governor Cooper will give an update on North Carolina's response to COVID-19. It comes as the state's current restrictions are set to expire next Friday. The governor will speak at 2 this afternoon. All right, folks, make sure you watch us every single weekday morning. Of course, you can watch us here on Wake Up Charlotte to go, but also starting at 4.30 a.m. on Wake Up Charlotte. Have a great Wednesday.